Hello my friends, and thank you for joining me here back in TNO, The Last Days of Europe, in which we are still playing as Gross Germanisches Reich. And happy 1963, it's going to be a fun, interesting year, especially with our power struggle against the other three of the Gang of Four. So last time we slowly began making sure that Mr. Oh, Herr Heydrich would have the capabilities to do well, regardless of a potential future conflict. Apparently there's a communist revolution in the Levant, which makes me question what is going on when the Muslims and Jews, are the Jews here? They might be a few, are becoming communist. I have some serious questions about what they're doing down here under George Habash. But regardless, I hope you're all having a great day, in which we have to get to a few comments. First of all is Strengeheim. Play as Burgundy someday. Oh, there's a lot of lag, as you can tell. But play as Burgundy someday. Yes, I will. Under Mr. HH. He seems like a very, very, very fun country to play as. Ah, Strengeheim. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, I love, I love Burgundy. I love it. Let's look for more opportunities, though. And if you want to read this, protest reach new heights. Ah, uh, that was another thing. Um, someone recommended that, you know what, even though I said in the last video I don't want to read all the events, I could still read them, even though it could take us some more time. Uh, I'll just read, I'll sometimes, I'll do that sometimes, but I'll just, like, for this one, read, like, the last little, little paragraph or sentences. We need to do something about the student protesters now that before the situation spirals out of our hands. One way or another, we need to take action. Send in the SS to make short work of these liberals. These damned liberals. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Cool. Oh, and we can also do this because we had more military spending. Um, just slash a budget for now. Oh, look at reserves. Like I said last time, I want my goal to be to get rid of the national debt, or at least lower it before below our total GDP, which would be a good a good thing. You know what? You know what I love about this is that the developers try to make everything more relevant in terms of like economy and society. I I love this. It's, it reminds me so much of Vicky too that I love it a lot. I really really do. I appreciate that from the devs. So part of often though. And next up, we shall do pressure the Kriegsmarine. The Kriegsmarine is notorious as being the least political of the three branches of the Wehrmacht, yet also tends to be the most pro speer branch. Due to both reasons, it's where the SS has least influence. Given the importance of the Kriegsmarine to the Reich's operations in the event of war, we must attempt to convince the men of the Kriegsmarine to support Herr Heydrich's bid for the Führership to ensure the Reich remains stable. Yes, we get less naval experience gain, minus one daily. Doesn't matter, who cares? We have plenty of fuel for now, we got plenty of our naval XP, doesn't matter at all. Now, open the German militarist G wire. Graphics user interface. Power is low. Influence is hot. Approval is absolute. How handsome. Is he? He's a blowhard. Is he? He's probably still uh, a drug addict in this timeline. Yeah. Hmm. Could have just shipped him off to Central Africa or just Africa. God, this looks. There's so many nations in this game I or this mod that I want to play as. Look at all these African states. I actually want to play in Africa now, finally. Uh, Shpia's call. Oh no. Oh, let's see, what does this say? Hedrich stood over the tape recorder in absolute silence, his slender figures laced together. Dr. Brandt's voice crackled a greeting, which Speer's deep monotone returned. Then came the grave announcement. The Führer had fallen into a coma and was not likely to awaken as the tape soon clicked to an end. Oh no. Oh, they're going the wrong way. Uh, oh, oh crap. There goes Madagascar. So, if you want to read about the going their own way, go right ahead. I'm going to continue Speer's call. I'm going to, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Um, I'm going to go and do this one. I'll read the last paragraph. You wish to escape go Schaub instead of Brandt? Hedrich considered for a moment. Very well. I'll kick that weasel from the party for good measure. And there goes German Madagascar. I want to play as German Madagascar too. Till Bormann and Goldring just condemn him too. We must focus the public's attention on Herr Schaub. And away from Hitler, he thought as well. Just eight. Oh, cool. The final curtain is falling. Oh, God. No. No. Don't fall into a coma. 40, 40, 45, 60. That's not good. He's comatose. Oh, God, no. And they're going the wrong way. A sudden change in direction and refusal to communicate led to the flight control to one conclusion. Uh, where the plane was headed, trying to utilize the Luftwaffe to make contact. Is this the Luftwaffe 302? Oh no, it is Luft Lufthansa 302 at Junker 152 flying from London to Bergen. We can only pray and pray for the safety. The mystery of Lufthansa 302. Uh, anything else here? Not really. As much as some didn't like it, the taking of Lufthansa the Reich hundred spy appeared to be the result of a desperate pair of disaffected English, not part of a wider terrorist plot against the Reich. Uh, hijackers were English citizens suspected of attempting to purchase transport through the Scottish border. 
Many in the pack, especially on the security side, weren't satisfied. There had to be a resistance component to this, they thought. They integrated and detained close relations of the hijackers and defectors, but they were just as shocked as everyone else. The English resistance didn't seem to step up their activity after the attack, and no other copycat hijackings occurred at the same time. Does this have something to do with Burgundy? Because I don't know. I haven't played Burgundy yet. This Lufthansa thing seems very extremely suspicious. Now, I know I haven't run through the entire event, but that can't be right, can it? This seems very weird. Oh, uh, apparently, apparently, uh, let's see, we had the Adler, which means eagle in German, uh, come alive, you know, it was created last time, and it's apparently our super carrier. We have Eins Europa, Wesser, the Adolf Hitler, the Grasse, Admirator Schipper, um, which one is it? Uh, Adler class, this one, Graf Zeppelin, the Yasuda Crisis, what falls faster, a man or a shares? Oh, oh I'd say a tower, but you know, that's just me, oh god. Uh, the men stood by the sails calmly and waited for their time to jump. Out with the crash. A report from Fro Norway. Fro Norway. That sounds like awesome. I don't know why my voice turned like that. Look at this. So this one is like our super carrier, even though it's kind of still poorly made. Oh, we need carrier fighters. Oh. Oh no. What are we building? Civilian factories. That's yeah. Keep building that stuff up. That stuff will be so good for us. Uh, come over here first. Carrier fighters. Meza Schmitz. Oh. We don't, oh, we don't have any on that group. But we are making them. Yeah, we're making tanks. We're making motorized. Uh, we definitely need more transport helicopters because we don't have them researched, which is what we need. Carrier fires are doing. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. And apart from Norway, if you want to read this, open for business while the smaller banks and investment groups uh, eye the growing market with interest. The heads of Germany's largest corporations, such as Siemens and IG Farben, are already making a large financial move to capitalize on the decision. Only time will tell how this development will shape the right case up in the coming future, but it should... S uh, would seem that the younger Norwegian population is quite keen on the news as they hope to escape into a much more lucrative job market than would have existed otherwise. Glorious. And which will communication or cripple them communications. To further destroy the Wehrmacht's ability to cancel the Schutzstaffel, it's time we truly separate them from the Reich at large by crippling their communications. If we were to conduct this rather dubious act, it would increase our capabilities to counter the Wehrmacht in the event of possible conflict, as well as will be able to far more effectively strike down our opponents as it will be us who are prepared for war. We get here no evil. Very good. Very, very good. Let's see. Anything? Nope. 40, 40. We can't be lower than Speer. Because we really need to be on equal footing with Speer. And then Ballman will be down here in the Austria. And then we'll have Goring around here. And then Okrox obviously will be over there, like I said last time. Uh, let's see. You guys are all pretty much trained. There's not really much that we can do with you guys. we got plenty of political power. We don't have any war support, which is fine. Because we don't want to get involved. Actually, can we, can we give you stuff down here? We should have... Look at that before. No, we can negotiate licenses though. Negotiate licenses. You need a uh, production to make a request? Oh no. Um, I really, really, really want to play as this Hit Nag Nagdut movement. I really want to play as like a Jewish or Israeli Madagascar in like state. That sounds like so much fun. That sounds absolutely wild. There's Republic of Madagascar. Look, the smiling black man. He's so happy. Look at that. God, Gabriel is so happy. Um, we have Haim around there, and then we have Mr. Balding, Erhard Milch, Mr. Milk, King Farouk is dead. Egypt would not face trouble times with the death of the king, but some certainly also praise the loss of a man who made them for the bill time and time again. I suggest that perhaps he was poisoned by would-be usurpers, but currently the primary belief is that he simply ate too much. Yeah, if you keep eating, you're gonna die. Like you do too much everything. The Schwarze Pest, disastrous. Oh god, no. And then we have Rex Commissariat Mus uh, Muscovine, Madagascar. A report from Norway, if you want to read this, go right ahead, acknowledge. Um, domestic resistance elements have been spreading illegal viral propaganda within the Rex Commissariat, Norwegian. Cool. Urban centers will receive higher concentrations of public monitoring and citizen investigation. A curfew is being considered, but in the interim, citizens will be required to record their activities for presentation to a security investigator until upon request. Furthermore, uh, movement around, across Norwegian will only be authorized for vehicles including, but not limited to, registered state vehicles, garrison vehicles, military vehicles, supply and transportation vehicles, vehicles containing a certified state agent of Rex Commissariat, Norwegian, which vehicles containing a certified state agent of the Ghost Germanische Reich, and undercover collection vehicles, see attached file A1 for details. Acknowledged. Here, yeah, no evil. Uh, do you have a focus street? You'd oh, you do! Rex Commissariat, Madagascar. I, oh, I love the island. I love it. I love the movie too. But, let's see. No way. Acknowledged. Before we do, you know, evil. Detente, detente with Burgundy. Over the past couple of decades, relations between the Gross Germanisches Reich and Ordenstadt Burgund have been strenuous to say the least. Yet, with the appointment of Reichsführer SS Heydrich as Führer's successor upon death, it is clear to us that it is only right that we make or pursue friendly relations with the Burgundians. Therefore, we shall enact a policy of detente with the Ordenstadt Burgund, thus paving the way for a renewal of once friendly relations. I am talking fast. I can speak very, very fast. Woo! Liquid reserves? Don't mind if I do. Looking even better, my friends. 
No, I could probably increase civilian construction. What is this? Look for up. Oh, yes. Funds are better used elsewhere. By cutting some of the admiral's salaries and reducing waste, room in the naval budget for substantial improvements is possible. But be it weapon systems, overhauls, repairs, new electronics, or even just a new coat of paint, we have an opportunity to finally ship up the Kriegsmarine. The Fatherland only deserves the best. Yes. Uh, I really don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so now their legitimacy is continuing to increase for the Gang of Four, except for us, which really, really sucks. But with Goring, Speer, and those two making moves, they're going to probably reduce each other's influence, which is a good thing. They're not going to hurt us because they don't really care about us too much, but they might also hurt Speer, which would be good. So, we've got a little bit of time. So, let us, uh, we already paid off our debts a little bit. Let's slow it down and then hear no evil. The men move quickly, but not hastily. They were prepared, experienced. Every action was taken with cold, surgical precision. Thousands of them, constructed like clockwork, made the simultaneous moves. The SS had an act for destruction. They sliced up wires, immolated documents, and brutalized trusted messengers. Every effort was made to blind the prying eyes, amputate the groping hands, and deafen the eavesdropping ears of Hadrian's opposition. By the end of the day, orders and communiques descended into confusion and convulsion. Hadrian's own methods of communication stood intact, of course. Information passed smoothly between his commanders and men. They were united in purpose and thought. The traitorous rabble, distinguishable only by the specific brand of degeneracy, could not help but feel awe at their own isolation. An entire nation is death. God, I love talking like this. Weird, I know. Oh, that's not bad. Naval targeting. Oh, 60, 60. We're not quite at 70 yet. So we can kind of ignore the industry page here for a while. Uh, the engineering page, I mean. Uh, industry, 63. We can't do that. We can't really do much else here, which is fine. That's kind of okay. We can't do that one. So these two are done for now. We might want to continue doing more stuff with light aircrafts. Uh, that's already research, actually. 60. We're not using those. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. We're doing that as well for now, too. Wow. We're ahead of time. Let's get some transport helicopters if we can. Oh, what is that? What is this? A helicopter can easily take off and on. Um, how can we tell that this is a... Oh, that is not a helicopter. Go figure. Which one is... This looks like a helicopter. Oh, look at that. I like this. Lift hots. Oh, what is this? Ability helicopter and hover. I'm not really sure what this is. Like... Oh, these are transports. Oh, duh. Wait, I already have them unlocked? Oh. Scout, anti-sub, oh, well, whatever. Um, heavy aircraft, 60s. I completely forgot about this stuff. Tactical bombers. I kind of want to just use close air support, so we're not going to use that. Yeah, spy planes. Those are cool and all, but we don't really need that. Oh, I have not looked at this page yet. Air supremacy, air superiority, air parity. Interception, attack, air range, air parity. Provide air support for units on the field. This is probably what we want, so let's go ahead and choose one of those. Uh, Rifle-wise, we can do that one, and then over here, what does this do? Wow, this goes on for a long, long booty time. What is this? Basic man portable air defense man pads. Okay, well I don't know. You don't think hmm, man pads? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Infantry. Oh, uh, let's grab. Let's grab some of that. We might need that. Cool. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how many man pads I need in my life, but you know we'll see what happens. So we're at 65, 45. Goring is oh, is just as bad as us. We're actually above Speer. Look at that. That's why Goring is making moves. Speer is making moves. That is really good for us, because now we have more influence than Speer. Same as equal to Goring. Hopefully, they try to kill off Bowman. But we do have a cup of very nice coffee. A delicacy in the Reich, you could say. Of some white chocolate, strawberry, truffle, coffee, until... A coffee, until things break down. So let us enjoy a drink together. Ah, very nice. Sorry, I lied. Two sips, two sips. Anyways, um, you know, uh, someone was... To in the comments yesterday detailing like, oh, you actually chose Hedrush as the person that should lead? You're crazy. But you know what? Maybe maybe we just un misunderstood Reinhard Hedrush, the blonde, blue-eyed butcher, some might say, who who might have done might have done a few bad things in the past, you know? He might have been our timeline taken out in in 42 by a couple Czech people, but th this is this is TNO. He he didn't do anything bad, right? No, history books made him out to be bad, you know? He never committed war crimes, never would commit war crimes, because we didn't lose the war. That's the only difference. Um, but yeah, he's, he's obviously the best man for the choice. Totally never did anything bad. Ooh, Magadan declared war on the all-Russian government of Amur. 45, 45. Oh god, 70 and 50? That's not good. Mm. But there's really not much else we can do, because we don't get these options. I mean, yeah, divert infantry equipment. We might do that. Oh, da Dante Burgundy? Good. Oh, we got a guarantee of... In defense. So they're going to help us out in the war, which will be very, very good. 
We might want to get additional units. Military factories would be really good as well. But we're already doing stuff with military, like civilian building, military building, and fort building, and infrastructure building, kind of, where we know we're going to be at and where our capital will be at. So we already know what we're kind of doing. Oh, uh, that's up. Stop the sanctions. Due to the former hostile leadership of the Gross Germanisch Reich attempting to counter Burgundian ambitions, unfair trade sanctions were placed upon trade with on Odenstadt Burgund, which ultimately resulted in their economy weakening. However, this will not continue for long. To truly establish cordiality between the Reich and the Burgundy, we have little choice but to let all sanctions upon the state, thus alleviating Burgundy's economic woes and resulting in a strengthening of ties between us and our party comrades abroad. Well, they're not too far away. I mean, they're literally right next to us, so that's kind of good. Um, you know what? Let's make sure... I, I love having the same amount of influence as Goring and them, but... Okay, so look, to be frank with you, I think Strasbourg becomes a capital. I can't remember exactly, but I think Strasbourg does, which is nice. And we have tons of civilian factories here, but we could really use probably military factories as well. Yeah, I'm going to actually go decrease this by like three and begin building some military factories there in, as well, because we're going to need them. So we don't need to buy this. I love military factories, but we don't need them right now. We might need additional units and guns, so... I think for now, at the very least, let's get at least a little stockpile of guns, because we might run out early on. Uh, it's only going to cost us five legitimacy. Two more units would actually be better. Mm, fine, let's get the units. That's fine. We're still at 45. We're equal to Spiel. We're just below Goring. By the death of Prime Minister Field Marshal Plek Philbon Song Kram. Military austerity? No. Even more austerity. And look at that. 309? Well, it's still 309. <laughs> God, the annual GDP growth is so bad. Terror for the sake of love. King Ram of Thailand has declared a period of mourning to last 67 days over Mr. P's death, following which will he appoint a new prime minister to take in the reins. Good for you. We are on low manpower. That is fine. Oh, Sarit Thanarat appointed prime minister of Thailand. Well, that was not 67 days. Uh, we dream of our own Thailand. The new prime minister's government of Thailand dances between innovation and tradition, shrinking a balance to sure to gather particular attention from the kingdom's enemies and allies alike. Actually, hold on. I have a question. Does the Republic of Wales have a focus tree? Oh my god, Wales has the Wales has a focus tree. I've never played as Wales. I, I love this mod. Like, the lore, the amount of effort and love that's obviously you've put into TNO is astounding. If you've not played it yet, I would really, really recommend it. Oh, everyone's making moves except for us. Except, uh, we're still looking for opportunities. SS acting up. So, they... I felt the need to make their presence known to the civilian population as well, carrying out their own investigations of citizen population. Anything renewed from foreign spy to tax evasion has been used as an excuse to detain and harass people. They even have the backbone to set up checkpoints with no approval from anyone but themselves, and have been freely, have been freely arrest suspected Jews and other undesirables who are more than not critics of the SS. With these fanatics causing so much chaos, some kind of action must be decided on soon to limit their activities and restore some sense of sanity. Oh, the SS is having a good time. Putting their noses where it doesn't belong, disruption throughout the Reich... Uh, bullied troops from regular army out of several armies across Germany. Mostly in the Rhine, though. Um, cool. All according to plan. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. I really don't want to do stuff ahead of time. Uh, this, actually, mobile infantry, that would be worth doing ahead of time, then. That's not even ahead of time, though. So that's okay. Uh, so we're at 50. Speer's influence. We're even above Goring now. I, you know, I don't really know how much this influencing is going to cost us. I'm going to assume we're going to get more territory... Than, uh, if we have a higher influence number, but I don't know because I've never actually done this before. So, uh, we got more stuff here. We have military factories being built. We've got civilian factories being built. We've got the infrastructure being built. We do we have radar here again? Level six. You might as well do that for now. Oh, I could build a nuclear reactor there. That'd be awesome. Air base. How's? Ooh, we might need some air bases here too. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. But we'll stop the sanctions and end travel restrictions to truly improve german burgundian relations. We mustn't. And all draconian restrictions placed upon the nation over the past several years. The most glaring restriction is probably the odd travel restrictions between the Reich and our Western puppet, restricting who can rightfully enter Himmler's land or kingdom. Now that Herr Heydrich's influence in the government is secure, we shall end said resist restrictions, thus allowing all Germans to travel freely between the Reich and Burgundy. That will be good. And it's only July, so we got a little bit of time. I mean, yeah, Herr Hitler is uh, a little uh, paralyzed and comatose, as some might say, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, go and do that. You know, I might lower civilian spending right now. Hmm. Maybe. Or just construction in general, but it's really civilian spending that's costing us quite a bit. But even then, our deficit's going down, which is very, very good. We almost have a minus seven billion dollar deficit every single year. Oh, that is good stuff. That is very good stuff. Because we're running out of things to build here. Like, I could build a ton of... Actually, I could probably build it. No, I could build... Mm -hmm. Just in case. Just in case. I mean, yeah, we could do this, but... 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we could build that. I'm probably actually not going to do that too much. We'll get the we'll get the uh, air base here. Ooh, yes, Russia's on fire. That's always good. We're bombing the hell out of Russia anyways for funsies, so who cares? Uh, but, if we were starting to run out of things to build here, I will build factories, like, around here, like, in this part of the Rhine. Uh, you know, the Rhineland. Just because we could probably take that over pretty quickly if that does not fall under us immediately. So, if we can take it quickly enough, I will build factories there. Uh, deferred infantry group, anything else? Uh, let's see, 70, 50, 45, 50. So, Aideka, elected Prime Minister of Japan. Uh, he himself has been open with his vision, namely cleansing the corruption and administrative inefficiency that plagued the Ino era, as well as starting the gradual reform of the Japanese state. While many have criticized him for doing too little, too late, others have also praised him for his moderation. Moderation? No, 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 no. As some might say in a certain Red Flood mod, faster, faster, faster. Ah, Rex comes out Niederlande. Only through new political power, that is all. 75. Yeah, guys, hopefully no one will look at us. Yeah, let's see. Influence because got our starting position, but same worse. Ah, uh, and travel restrictions, and then Burgundian reinforcements. With the internal situation of the Gross Germanisches Reich quickly deteriorating despite our attempt to the contrary, it seems as if our only hope is to secure the Reich for the Reichsfeuer SS Heydrich allies with the Herr Himmler's fiefdom. We must call upon the Burgundian allies for support. Given a recent relaxation of policy towards Ordenstadt, Burgund, Herr Himmler will surely assist us in claiming the Reich for the Schusterfall once and for all. Hopefully he doesn't backstab us. That would be very bad. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting... That's 3% is not bad. That's actually pretty good. Very good. Yeah. You know what? We're going to keep spending keep spending the way we are for now. Because I will build. Let's see. Yeah. Just keep building. Even the roads in Luxembourg, just build them up for now. Because we want to move fast. Consumer goods is so bad right now. Oh, my goodness. Very, very good. Ah, infantry weapon improvement 6. Now, I'm thinking every, every single time we research something, our al our enemies are going to get it as well. Which kind of sucks. Ooh, what is this? What is that? The man pads. Uh, is that good? Global stats. Enemy air superiority. Um, is that worth getting? It might be. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I could probably improve tanks more, artillery more, but whatever. I wonder how much influence Heydrich can actually get. Or Heydrich. Oh, Republic of Madagascar has defeated Rex Commissar at Madagascar. Oh, that sucks. No, we don't want to lose them. Oh, do we have more ships? Yeah, we got a ship here. Cool. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna focus on the ships because we're gonna lose it all anyways. Oh, is the Jewish state gonna rise up? Oh, Jewish people rise up. Oh, you also have the Schwarze Pest. Do you have this as well? Is it, oh, you do have it as well. Happy Black Man. An outbreak of the bubonic plague, the Black Death of Yore, wreaked havoc upon Europe in the Middle Ages. Oh my goodness, you have the Black Plague there. Oh my gosh. Madagascar is a group affected the most by the plague, and the lack of an effective response on our part is turning the populace against us. Well, yeah, that's probably not good. All right, cool. Look for opportunities. Demand for women's rights. Oh, since we don't have too much to do, we might as well read all of this. Students whining on the streets aren't isn't anything new to our administration. New movements occasionally pop up every now and then, and before quickly dispersing into nothing, quickly being forgotten. The new Aryan feminist movement, however, has not Aryan feminist movement. Now that is interesting. Spearheaded by a large group of female college college students, the new group has been organizing marches, rallies, and meetings in a number of major cities. Reactions are mixed. Many conservative NSDAP members are disgusted, arguing that women's purity needs to be preserved, and that German worker German per, woman's purpose is to be a care caretaker. Some of the more traditional women's wholeheartedly agree, seeing their place in Germany as an essential pillar of the German family. On the flip side, many younger women chaff at the thought of remaining second-class citizens in their own country and demand more freedom and acceptance from the population at large. Many reformers and even the more than a few silent conservatives are in agreement and see the grievances laid out as valid. With popular opinion split and marches and rallies becoming more frenzied, the government needs to step in and offer guidance one way or another. Pay and lip service? Okay. Let the people choose, watch, and wait it out. We are not changing the status quo. Break up the marches. Or women's rights... Stop the marches, arrest all the leaders. Man, this is a fun path to choose. Ah, Burgundian reinforcements. Free trade was often seen as a sign of opening up to the world around our nation, expanding economic and cultural horizons. Iberian Council's creation of the Iberian Council, a useless organization for the weak state. So this was anything but. Every night, a caravan of trucks approached the German border from Burgundy. The drivers would hardly be seen through the tinted windows, but a keen sighted side observer would you know, universally see men wearing dark sunglasses wearing heavy coats. They transported unknown cargo, nuclear weaponry, Poison for the masses, toiletries no one knew, especially because the the usually quite thorough border guards waved anyone in with particular Burgundian truck without a second thought. And the trucks just kept coming on. For the first time, however, though, Burgundy was opening up. They were sending the terrible cargo into Germany, still worse, when the trucks finally entered the Reich proper. They always ended up at Schustoffel offices and the cities with the most support for the newly appointed successor. Soon enough, there were reports of extravagant SS celebrations with specifically or specifically made Burgundian stuff. 
of cha champagne and some of whatever cargo was in those trucks. Cities supported Hadrish, saw an ever so slight uptick in economic performance. Just at the moment those trucks began to drive in, somehow, someone west of the border was playing favorites. Forbolding. Das is Forbolten. But you know what? As long as they keep giving me my white chocolate strawberry truffle coffee, we're good with it. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're so close. We're about $2 billion off. And our goal will have been completed. Uh, this, this is just turning into, like, Mr. Pay Off Your Debt Simulator for me. This is great. I love it. Just click a button and you pay off the debt. Why can't America or any other modern nation do that in today's world? I love Burgundian coffee and champagne. All right, so what are we building here? Well, we're building the forts up. That's okay. <sighs> Military austerity, we can keep doing that. Um, so we could build up in our puppet Burgundy. We're going to go do the Rhineland next, though. So go ahead and build more civilian factories here. There you go. And when you're done with all the forts, like I don't think we'll need these forts, but I just don't know where, where we need to build, to be honest with you. I really don't. Autumn. Oh, good. Military spending. Just keep cutting military spending. It's fine for now. So, he lies in catatonic on his deathbed. Alone, except for the physician seated, seated beside him. Outside the room lie 100 million souls in terrible waiting, yet his consciousness is in an empty bliss beyond the world. His life flashes by him in reverse. He recalls his, her funeral, how his heart broke, and only his reverence to his motherland remained. The cathedral of lit of light during the victory parade after the war. The long conquest against Judeo-Bolshevism, he mercilessly fought. The world powers are in all of Germany at the Olympic Games. He struggled to break the old order with blood and steel. The house of his, his parents, where he first dreamed to end all dreams, a stream ends with one final shot of morphine. His worn eyes open from the injection. He looks around as if searching for something. Behind the sliver of illuminance left in between the curtains, he sees the Volkshalle, the Volkshalle, sorry, bathed in sunlight. He stares at the dome for some time, trying to remember Deutschland, before he hears a whisper, the only voice he ever truly loved. He shifts his gaze, and for a fleeting moment, she is there. Her apparition fading, he whispers his last word, a single tear welling in his eyes. Ava? There were no sounds for a while, except for the faint surrassing of oak leaves and the chirping of barn swallows. The news of Adolf Hitler's passing came after one hour of peace. There will never again be silence for the children of Germania. Farewell, mein Fahrer. Oh. Shh. Nikes. Oh, this might get a little spicy. Never know where to send, or to know for whom the bells toll, it tolls for thee. With the uncovering and destruction of the bugging devices in the Berghof, Hedrush used every means at his disposal to find out more about Hitler's medical state. The old man was unlikely to wake from his coma. Of that he was certain. The question was, when would he die? The rumors had spread like wildfire, first through, through Juma... Well, I guess it's in the newspapers already. 25 cents. Or Reichsmarks, maybe. No, a quarter of a Reichsmark dollar. Quarter of a Reichsmark. Currency. Cool. Uh, medical experts debated it, and the comments industry was theorizing about it. The same words were on everyone's lips. The Führer is dead. The excitement that curse coursed through Hedrich's veins was tinged with a slight sadness. The memories of what Hitler had been were just as vivid as the memories of what he had become. The degeneration of the Reich could not be rested at the feet of that senile old man, after all. It was a corruption of Bowman, Goring, and Speer, and many others that destroyed the Fatherland many years ago. Without question, history would recall the Führer as a great man of, of history, as it would for... Reinhard Heydrich. The minister into hours. The hours grew into days. Soon, the rumors had become fact. The Führer was dead. The Reich was officially leaderless. I see. Heydrich muttered into the phone, replying to the voice claims. He placed the phone down gently, restraining the urge to pound it against the table until it shattered into a million pieces. The Reichstag had just met without inviting the appointed successor. The pestilence infecting the emergency council had refused to legally pronounce Heydrich as a new Führer, claiming that there was a time for mourning and not ceremony. Germany had slipped through his fingers, but it mattered little. According to his spies, Goring, Speer, and Heydrich had already fled the city. There was no time to lose. The road to leadership would be painted red with the blood of his enemies. Extensive military preparations had already been made. It was, it was time to fly west. The like mourns. Day to remember. God, I'm getting too into this. Um, so at this point, we are 50. We are above goring. Now, I don't know how this is going to affect us. Uh, I don't mind being at the equal level of goring. We don't need this, I don't think, just because we'll gain additional off map factory. Field hospitals, that's nice. Um, active for 30 days when removed. Ooh, we don't have 30 days. I don't think we have 30 days. It's October already. Uh, let's see. Let's grab more recon, maybe. The Reichstag Emergency Council. Hmm. 
How dare they don't appoint the successor. The fu a funeral for a Führer. The funeral of Adolf Hitler was probably the largest, most extravagant in history. Thousands of Germans stood in attendance, with nearly an entire division of soldiers just for the funeral march. Not to mention endless flyovers by the Luftwaffe and the constant jockeying for the best spots to show off over a dozen military units. Even standout figures such as JFK and a representative of Emperor Hirohito weren't in attendance. Wow. Uh, Heydrich, Spia, Goring, and Bolden were all in attendance, and all gave their words on the leader's passing. Today is a day of mourning. Crisis has struck Germany. We must be strong in the coming days together, for the entire Reich now is a time of healing. And they were gone, not even half an hour after the body was lowered. Four staff cars and the convoys were speeding off to parts unknown, preparing for plans, no doubt, only just the beginning. Well, that was unusually abrupt. The flock take flight. Since the death of Hitler, the Luftwaffe had begun to act awry. The great jet birds began to fly without command across many areas of the Reich. Airfields vacate as seemingly every air wing in the Luftwaffe undertakes a great migration, yet their destination unknown. The strange flocking habits of these Luftwaffe birds is not restricted to just the aircraft. Fallschirmjäger, uh, Divisions 2, loaded up their equipment and personnel into aircraft with an unwarranted haste, and soared off into destinations unknown. Luftwaffe personnel seemed to be in the midst of an utter abandonment of post countrywide, with only a scarce few commanders planting their contingents firm upon their signed airfields. As Field Marshal Schweidel frantically attempts to officially assume the status of the Luftwaffe, motorcades in Germanis are seemingly filled with the top brass, leaving their offices for personal reasons, pre-planned leave, and or some sort of departing Berlin with so much as a word to the superiors. Speidel might not have much of the official status of the delimit on hand, yet there's no doubt in the minds of, the, of any that this is the work of the old Reichsmarschall Goring. His pieces will soon be in place. Oh, they better not be. Oh, I hope you're ready for this, son. Because I'm not. Heiling the Reich stands in, of course, still in state of confusion. For the past week, the Reichstag has been at one another's throats over the simple matter of who the citizens of the Reich should hail now that the Führer is dead. While it was always assumed that the next Führer would be saluted, the current chaos and lack of any real planning for this crisis means that the German people have been left in a state of utter confusion as the Reichstag has bickered and the more ideologically minded hailed the chosen candidate for the office. Soldiers hailed the generals or the city homes. Citizens hailed workers and the economy. Some hailed Hitler still. It seems as if every German had declared their own special little salute, and nobody liked another's. By the end of the week, Heil the Reich had become the most agreed-upon salute by the people of Germany, but no one seems particularly enthused about it anymore. We can agree on nothing? Oh, boy. Oh, no, no, no. Even a one-party state has divisions. Why have a two-party state, or a three-party, or a 500-party state? Everyone's going to choose their sides. Here, acting strange. Across the country, men from the Hail abandon the posts. Some divisions' roll calls have been reported half, and sometimes even more of the men going AWOL. In a couple instances, entire infantry or panzer divisions have simply disappeared off the map, only to reappear across the country in southern Germany. No explanation can be shaken from the officers and generals of these divisions, since they are now nowhere to be found or hidden away in the black spot of southern Germany. To make matters worse, late last night, the general staff in Berlin vanished. A convoy of personnel, cars, and military trucks filled with high-ranking officials and their attachments were last seen headed south after picking up the troops at their checkpoints. There is little doubt that they are also headed south. Here, messengers run amok in Germania, and formations all across Germany are suddenly leaderless and further disintegrating. From one particularly burnt letter, an aide managed to dig up alongside a uh, couple of taping of tapped phone recordings, revealed a common simple phrase from Martin Bormann himself. It is time. Bormann is already making his bloody move. I, I, I'm really excited to see how big we can become. Because if we don't become that big... Because I play this off-screen just a little bit. Oh, hello, you're demilitarized over there already. Okay. But like I said, uh, I played this like before I actually started recording this one. Um, just because we had like just this little portion of East Prussia. And we owned this little portion down here. But now I had a smaller influence than everyone else. But now that... Oh, gamers rise up? Okay, so as the wave of violence continues throughout Germany, Heydrich has declared himself the rightful fear of all Germany. This is not new news from him, but what is news is the fact that he has called upon the S his SS to restore order within the country. Forces of the SS, based in Elsass Lothringen, conveniently close to the border of Burgundy, and Ostpreußen, his strongest areas of war, has stormed local police stations and administrative buildings with full intent of taking over all of Germany. Thanks to the absolute state of the Reich, however, we can do nothing, it has begun. Ah, oh, look at that. We're demilitarized, and we have two divisions under us. Yay! Hopefully we can get more than what we just got, because... yeah. Speerens rise up. More gamers rise up. After the recent chaos in the Reich, Speerens' divisions loyal to him have begun a rebellion in the northwest of Germany. Armed students have taken over government buildings in the area, and student riot uprisings have been reported throughout the country. Our country now continues to crumble as the first sparks of civil war have begun to blit. Speer, yes. Uh, no, Speer. Oh, I forget what never is in Germany. Nie. Nie. Nie, Speer. Nie. 
Gold ring rises up. Another gamer. As the streets begin to fill up with the sounds of war, the forces loyal to each contender begin armed insurrection. Gold ring has caught upon loyal legions to stamp out rebellion within the nation by starting his own. About half the country's total landmass has declared themselves loyal to him, and his forces now begin opening battles with disloyal militiamen and the rest of the contenders. Would Hitler would have wanted this? At least southern Germany's okay, right? And Bormann breaks away. The Reich, once the triumphant victor has collapsed into outright civil war. This fact was confirmed earlier today as Martin Bormann rather reluctantly ordered the remaining German forces loyal to him to fully break away from the Reich and begin warfare against the rest of the contenders for the next cure. Art Eagle's fallen. Gott hilf uns. Wow, everything but like the capital area is in a demilitarized zone, which is actually really good. Even Oslin is demilitarized. Oh, hold on. Oslin is falling apart. We have Letland and Oslin. Oh, God, this is not good. Chaos and Oslin. There you go, Chaos and Oslin. All right, divided. Oh, good lord. And the civil war begins. While tensions have ris been rising from the various factions in the Reich for years, nobody quite expected the explosion of violence that came shortly after the death of the Fuhrer. Everyone had seen, of course, the politicians scattering the to their homes, the military arming themselves and locking down roads, the police taking up their heaviest weapons and barricading their stations, but for an outright civil war? Expected or not, however, the war is here. Military units have focused their attention on Germania, ensuring the capital remain under military control. But elsewhere, the pretenders to the throne of the Reich have armed themselves and fighting has broken across Germany. Speer, Heydrich, Baum, and Goring, the Gang of Four. No one knows which one will win, but all the people know the nation that the dark days are ahead of them. With Germany in collapse and anarchy in the streets, foreign powers have already begun debating what to do. The US and Japan both have already begun looking into how to best exploit the chaos, and Iberia and Italy have begun quickly militarizing in order to carve out further influence in the chaos. The Reich's commissariats, ostensibly loyal vassals of the Reich, sit in chaos as well. Their leaders, debating on who to support or whether or not it is time to begin distancing their realms from the homeland. There will be Blut. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we have 233 factories right now. As we split down, I really want to see what the influence does. The Germans of war, uh, then the Reich, surely. Let's read this one. So this, this is going to be pretty bad. It is thus necessary that the individual should finally come to realize that his own ego is of no importance in comparison to the, with the existence of the nation. So it begins. In the wake of the death, the Reich has erupted into chaos. Uh, the fear is appointment of the legal successor. Powerful factions within the Reich have taken up arms against one another with the interest of leading the nation in their own vision. The nation is sworn with the entire garrisons ignoring orders from Germania and flocking to the successor of their choice. Though the gravity of the situation is not yet known, it is estimated that the Reich is either facing and or already experiencing total collapse of central authority. Though not much is known about the fate of the Reich's eastern administrations, the sudden cessation of contact between Germania and her possessions have created speculation on if those regions too will find their fate. What is known for sure, however, is that the collapse of the European Europe's titan has thrown the continent asunder. The end of the Reich, surely. Alright, so this is... this is Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. We are very, very small here. And I didn't really want to build up factories here, so I was correct to not build up stuff there, which is good. Now, like I said earlier, we're also down here, which we need to get the hell out of in East Prussia. Because we gotta come here and take out Speer. Speer is looking really weak, which I like. Alright, so let's do this. Everyone here? We can't defend this. There's no way we can defend this. Um, you should be led by, uh, oh, we got Heinz Hamel, Sylvester Stallone, no, Stadler, uh, let's see, Newman, you can be led by Newman. What we're going to do for now, you're going to hang out around Königsberg, just hang out in Königsberg, we got a couple ships here, we got, that's all we have, ooh, shnikes. Mmm, Seawolf, Spotting Pleat, uh, Speed, Capital Ship Armor, oh, that's only, oh, we, we didn't even get a carrier, god dang, that sucks. Uh, we'll choose you. Wilhelm Mintz. Mentzen. Concealment. Visibility actually might be really good to do. Yeah, uh, he probably won't really use it that well, though. Just gonna do that. Oh, if, if, if we had command power. So, we have 28 factories. That's oh, that's a lot less than before. Holy crap. And let's set ourselves up, because we do have Burgundy under us as well. Or with us. Alright, so you shall be a good general. A hill spider. But we do have tanks. And... Motorized, which will come in handy. So here's the goal. Uh, crap. This is not good. We needed more divisions than this. Um, we have to pile drive to Velum's office because we won't be able to hold out here for too long. I, I'm pretty certain of that. So, <sighs> this sucks. Oh uh, yeah, Jorg. Might as well do that. So you two will be placed together under a field marshal. Otto Gile. Aggressive Assaulter, actually that would be probably the best choice, it's a level 4, that's good. Then we have no command power, go figure. So, you guys go there, you guys come right here. We're going to have to immediately strike out and attack, probably. Uh, you guys are over there, you guys, I already gave you orders. No divisions, basic training, oh my goodness, SS Waffen 2, let's get rid of that, C Battalions, we'll keep that, keep that. 
Uh, Waffen SS2 is at 16 combat width. Motorized is 18. Let's get rid of this one. That one's better. Uh, motorized, yeah, we saw that one. That's not bad. Our current infantry division is not bad either. These guys are actually a little bit... Meh, not that much better. Oh, God. Burgundy. Oh. That's not bad either. Oh, this is not going to be good. Uh, what do we want to train, though? Just train some basic infantry for now. That's fine. This is why we blow ourselves up. Economy? Probably not looking good. Oh, convert five legitimacy. So we got like 55. Uh, the quest for legitimacy continues, and so does influence we can exert on areas of control by the contenders linger. Keeping and gaining them might just be the edge we needed. Oh. Hide and show. Influence? Oh, whoops. Convert 10. Oh, legitimacy. We have zero influence. Legitimacy. What does influence do? Huh. Well, we can convert some of it. That's fine. Uh, free military factories. Oh my gosh, we completely reset ourselves. We need that. We're gonna need <sighs> motorized probably. We're gonna need some anti-tank. We're gonna need some our support equipment. We're gonna need. Oh, we're not gonna have enough. I should have got more military factories. Yeah, I uh, definitely should have. Let's see. We got one, two. Uh, we might need that. I I don't remember. Fossil transport helicopters, scout planes. We don't need that. Uh, flak mouse. Do we really need? A f what the? Why do we have so many mouses? Lepod, we need some of those. Um, that might be it. Kugelpanzer? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I don't think we're really gonna use Kugelpanzers. That's just me, though. So, we can grab one of you. And we're gonna grab my carrier cast. We're gonna grab cast right there. We have a dockyard. We can't really build anything, so we'll just build some convoys for now. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what are we missing? Free civilian factories. Can we build any more here? Okay, yeah, we can. Focus on that stuff. That'll be good. And infrastructure, you should be maxed out. Yes, at least that's good. Uh, let's see. So right now we have a GDP of $42 billion. Debt is going to be going higher and higher. If we increase more in spending, we get more attack. Yeah, we do. It's not bad. Uh, civilian spending is zero, though. Oh, crap. That is not good. Um, hmm. Well, let's see what happens when we get reorganized a little bit. And I'll pause it. Oh, the yeah, Burger Krieg. Cool, you want to do that? Go right ahead. Oh, you know what? I don't know. The Waffen SS primarily receives support from the Waffen SS legions. Deutsch SS, Hedrich's men and those loyal to him. Or Burgundische SS. Oh, you know what? I don't know which one to choose, so I'm gonna let you guys decide. Should we choose the Burgundian Burgundish SS, the Deutsche SS, or the Waffen SS to figure out which path we should go down? Because this seems like a really good place to stop. Look at this focus tree; it's amazing. No way out. Do it for Germany. We must look. We must outlast. Holy dark armor. Stoßtruppen. Oh my goodness. Last minute support. Rally the supporters. Oh, anywhere we can arm them. Fight for survival, victory, or death. In it together. Oh my goodness. Who watches the Watchmen? But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. These things are going to get very, very interesting. If you enjoyed the episode, though, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we will fight for the very soul of the Reich. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!